Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Happy Monday. It's glorious out here this morning on Vanderbilt Beach. About 72 degrees, a little breeze coming out of the east. The water super calm. The water temperature is around 78, maybe 80. Depends where you're at. Absolutely glorious. The tide's been coming in for about an hour. It's about 7.20. It's going to get up to around 86 here, I think, today in North Naples. We'll see. Like I said, we're getting off to a wonderful start. Beautiful clear skies. Supposed to be sunny all day today. I wish you were here with me. And when I say that, I mean it. I wish you were here. And I know you wish you were here. If you didn't wish you were here, you wouldn't be watching. <laughs> peeking at me from in between the houses here on Vanderbilt Beach. Saw a beautiful sunrise earlier during my first live feed. So I know for sure, as of right now, that we do have two sea turtle nests on this stretch of beach, Vanderbilt Beach, and the beach of Pelican Bay, that runs from Caxam, from Caxam is from Clam Pass behind me to the south, all the way up to the north, to the south end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. That doesn't include Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. But there are definitely two confirmed nests. There have been several false crawls. We saw nest number one on Friday, I believe that was, down on the beach at Pelican Bay, way down to the south. And nest number two is just over here to my right. It's kind of in the shadows right now, in the shade but you'll be able to see it. So this is our second loggerhead sea turtle here for this season, loggerhead sea turtle nest number two, right down there. So that's exciting. Our girls are coming. There's a lot of them offshore waiting to come in. They're just not quite ready to pop yet. <laughs> but that is nest number two on Vanderbilt Beach. I was talking to our sea turtle expert, Marcus, earlier this morning before I went live. He said he thinks they're running a little behind here, a little late. He's been doing this for, I think, over 18 years, so. He should know. Isn't that cool? I'm always excited when we get our first couple nests. I'm actually excited every time we get a new nest. Every single solitary time. Just the thought of those new hatchlings and the thought of maybe someday witnessing an emerging man. That would be awesome. Every once in a while these nests will hatch at sunset, you know, at dusk, or they'll hatch after sunrise in the early, early morning hours. And people get lucky and see them. If you're one of those people, just keep your distance 
If you happen to come across them, if you're like me and you walk the beach while it's dark, stay away from them. Don't touch them. Mamas, babies, no flash photography. Use your zoom lens. As tempting as it is to get close to them, stay away from them. Please, please, please. I'm filling your holes on the beach. <laughs> You're going to start plugging your ears when I say that, but fill in your holes. I'm sorry. That is my new mantra for this nesting season. I've been coming out here for eight years doing these videos, and I'm sick and tired of seeing these holes on the beach all the time. Just fill them in. I'm not saying don't dig holes and build sandcastles. I'm saying fill in your holes. Be kind to our sea turtles and your fellow human beings. <laughs> This water is loaded with bait fish. I've been seeing a lot of little fish swimming along the shoreline up close. Little, well, I don't know what they were, what kind of bait fish they were, but maybe a couple inches long. So where there's bait, there's bigger fish. And I'd love to see some of those dolphins coming in chasing the fish. out into some sunlight here. Break free of the bigger homes and condos for a minute. I'm just walking north up Vanderbilt Beach towards Del Norwegans Pass State Park if you're just tuning in. Hit that share button. Boy, that Florida sun is just unbelievable, isn't it? Man. The sun in our sky. We have some of the most beautiful skies here. Hey, when I first got to the beach here this morning, I took a picture of the Turtle Club restaurant. Today is their official grand reopening, the Turtle Club restaurant on Vanderbilt Beach Resort. Oh. At Vanderbilt Beach Resort, on Vanderbilt Beach. Awesome news, awesome, awesome news. Share that post, share that post. 
Like I said earlier, let the world know. That place is world famous, the Turtle Club restaurant. Unfortunately, I can't afford to eat there, but <laughs> I can only go if I'm if somebody's hosting. But it's awesome. Yesterday I was seeing all the little bait fish swimming along here when I was up at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. It's still a bit too dark here. And they're real, they're, because of their size, they're kind of hard to see. But this water is looking absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. If you checked out any of my videos that I shared yesterday, you'll, you already know that. Del Norwegian's Pass State Park off in the distance there, just beyond the condos. Bonita Beach to the north of that. Fort Myers Beach beyond that. Sanibel. Way, way off in the distance. You can I can kind of see it out there. It's pretty hard to see on the video. So calm, calm and calling your name. Can you hear the beach calling your name? It's whispering your name. Mother Ocean is whispering your name. Sun needs to get a little higher in the sky, get a better look at this water, but you get the idea here. The idea is it looks great.
Hey, I see I got 200 stars there. Thank you. I get a penny for each star that you send to me on Facebook. You can send those stars to any of my videos on Facebook, just about any of them. If you appreciate what I do, if you appreciate my efforts, remember who gets out here early in the morning. And it's getting earlier now, each morning. Remember who's doing all the walking for you. Remember, I do depend on your support to make ends meet each month. Right now, bills are due today and ends aren't meeting. <laughs> Tips are hugely appreciated. They're always appreciated, but right now, extremely appreciated, if you know what I mean. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post if you'd like to send a little token of appreciation. I do thank you. You can also find me on Venmo and Apple Pay. I was hoping to see maybe at least a little a false crawl here on the beach this morning. That'd be exciting. I haven't seen any crawls yet. I haven't come across any crawls. I've just seen the nests. As of yesterday, there weren't any new any sea turtle nests at Del Norwegans. Now that may have changed today, but I'm unless I run into a, a talkative ranger, I won't know. I like to get into Del Norwegans, walk that beach on Sundays. Remember, they are working feverishly on getting parking lots numbers three and four open. Get more parking there. With more parking comes more people. It's a double-edged sword. Boy, Vanderbilt Beach has come a long way since Hurricane Ian. My friends, they are still working on these condos. There's still a lot of work going on. Probably another year's worth of work. But for the most part, everything is back up and running as usual. Minus maybe an elevator here and there, some swimming pools here and there. But a lot of progress has been made and is being made. Let's hope we don't have to go through that ever again. But I think it taught everyone a good lesson about preparedness. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. Everybody had gotten complacent. I don't know if you remember Hurricane Irma. Kind of went right up the center of the state of Florida. There was nowhere to run or hide. Went right up the middle of Florida. But they had predicted a 15-foot storm surge here in Naples. And we'd have got it. It came right up 41. The eye of Hurricane Irma came right up 41, but we were spared by the mercy of God at the back end of that storm. Just kind of fell apart. 
and didn't it pushed all the water out as it was moving north it pushed all the water out into the gulf sucked it all out naples bay was bone dry all these canals up here in the connors area of vanderbilt were bone dry the naples pier was high and dry But because that wind wasn't there on the back side of the storm, it didn't push the water back in. It just kind of trickled in, and we didn't get a 15-foot surge. That was three feet higher, four, five feet higher than what we got here in Naples. If we had gotten that 15-foot surge, that would have been disastrous. That would have went up to 41, that storm surge. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, man. Thank God that didn't happen. Hopefully, it'll, like I said, it'll never happen again. Just be vigilant. Get your hurricane supplies now if you live in southwest Florida. If you live in Florida, get your hurricane supplies now. Don't wait till the last minute. Jason's at. He's working with his tractor down at the south end of the beach this morning. I haven't seen him raking off the north end of the beach yet. I'm going to go up to Del Norwegans and take a little break. Then I'll be back for part two of my Monday morning beach walk. So we've still got a little time left here together. If you're thinking about maybe sending a couple Facebook stars. Wonderful walk at Wiggins yesterday. Wonderful walk at Del Nor Wiggins. Check out some of those shorter videos that I shared. Did a little video up at the north end of the park. That was nice. Had a nice super early morning walk up that beach up to Wiggins Pass. I made a little video of that as I was making my way up towards Wiggins Pass. You might want to check that out doesn't hurt to watch and give it a share. Anything that you like that I post, please share as well as like. That helps me out tremendously. Helps spread the word and share the love. Some little ripples there. Not a good day for surfers. Great day for paddleboarders. Kayakers, paddleboarders, swimmers. Awesome morning. It's gonna be an awesome, awesome beach day. It's supposed to be some rain building up later today. Late, late afternoon, early evening. These storms generally build onshore, actually out past 75 and creep towards the coastline. Sometimes we get a little rain here, sometimes we don't. We definitely need rain. We are at a deficit here in southwest Florida. 
as far as our water table goes. Man, we need rain. Pretty soon we'll be getting tons of it, hopefully. And we'll be complaining, stop the rain. But right now we need the rain. A song or something who will stop the rain. What is that song? I got some there's some will you ever see the rain? I don't know, there's some song about rain. Seeing rain, stopping the rain. Darn. I hate that when I get something in my head like that. It's like when I'm not even going to do it. I, when I, I did it to myself already. I going to say, I, when I start talking about food, I start getting hungry. And just the thought of it. It's like, yeah. Uh, who doesn't love food? <laughs> Every single solitary thing that I love. I am not supposed to eat because it triggers my gout. If you have gout, you know what I'm talking about. Everything that's awesome to eat and drink, you're not supposed to have it. Well, guess what? I have it. And I pay the price for it sometimes. <laughs> I paid the price for it the other day. I mean, I could go a year or longer without having a gout attack and then all of a sudden I'm limping around like a crotchety old fart if you have gout you know what it feels like and you know you know the most common place to get it is in your big toe you get it in your joints, and the joint, it's in an extremity where you get it. I've gotten it in my thumb joint. I've gotten it in my knee. There's no guarantees where you're going to get it, but that big toe joint is a common place, and it's like extremely painful. And if you don't know what it feels like, you're lucky. Thank goodness for that. Count your blessings. It's a form of arthritis. Now they got some different meds you can take for gout. I'm not a big fan of popping pills at all. They have one medication you can take forever. You can just pop a pill a day and it supposedly fights off gout, but bad for your liver. As all the other medications are bad for your liver, but I I'll go for the one-timers that when the gout attacks me, I'll take the pills and hopefully they'll do their job. Because I have a hard time changing my diet. Sweets, red meats, shellfish, fish, Ugh, alcohol, can't have beer. Beer is like the worst. What's left? Sit down and eat a bowl of lettuce. I like salads. I mean, I love salads. Chicken. You can just eat so much of it. You know? Chicken salads, Caesar salads. It's all about moderation. Moderation. Yeah, that holds true for everything. Accept life. Enjoy life to its fullest. Ooh. Little snowy egrets flying by out there. Enjoy the journey. Like our captain always said, enjoy that journey.
How are you enjoying this morning's journey? Is it all right? Having a good time? Having a nice walk with me? There's a beautiful mile-long stretch of beach at Del Norwegans waiting for me, saying, good morning, Rob. Good morning, Del Norwegans. Here's the leaping dolphins. Look at those big rolling tarpon. Well, darn it, a little snow eager. He's gonna walk by me and then just flew away. Look at that beach. Look at that beautiful, beautiful beach. Heaven on earth, my friends. Heaven on earth right there. Well, no sea turtle crawls on Vanderbilt Beach this morning. Darn it. Like maybe some remnants of an old crawl there, but no. Look at that. All right, hit that share button. Send some stars on Facebook if you appreciate my efforts and enjoy my videos. Remember, tips right now are hugely appreciated today. Can't say that enough. I can't say that enough this morning. Give you a peek at this water before I take a little break. Then I shall return. Again, share that post about the Turtle Club. Scroll down a couple posts on Facebook here and you'll see that early morning shot of the Turtle Club. It officially reopens today, May 6th. Give it a share, please. Please, please, please. I want to see a million views on that post. One last look back at that glorious Florida sunshine. Now that we're past all the buildings, that's what I love about this park. No condos or houses, just me and Mother Nature. Alright, that's going to do it for part one of my Monday morning beach walk in paradise. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for being a friend. Hopefully I'll see you in a little while, but until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, everyone. Tally-ho.
for Southwest Florida Television. I'm Rob Stan. May God bless you, your family, your friends, your fur babies, everything and everyone in your life. And God bless our wonderful, amazing, glorious country. God bless America. Tally ho. Tally ho.